I want to start off by saying what I feel about Russell Brand in a nutshell. Russell Brand is a dumbass. Okay, that's that's everything I feel about the guy. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta analyze the history of Russell Brand. And just the gist of what I know. The guy was fucking Katy Perry. And in the comment section of his videos, people were either saying, Alright, the guy's an asshole, but he has a point. The Brahmins, of course. And some of the females were saying, Wow, this guy is so hot. And the reason they say he's hot is obvious. If you're a Jesus-looking guy, like old-school CM Punk, or Kurt Cobain, or... This guy, your long hair that's unkempt and face hair, and you basically say your views with conviction. Like, you have views and you can say them passionately, not caring what other people think. They're going to consider it at hot. That gets some of the jacket tingles. This guy has been known to diss feminism a lot. At the same time, he's a total problem. There's no way to get around that. Well, no, he's not a Brahmin, really, because the guy's, I believe he's British. So you can only be Brahmin if you're American. That's the most bugging term for America. And I gotta be careful who I use it to or on. Yeah, he's a pussified Western male that managed to use his femininity to gain girls, feminine game. Hartis talks about this. At the same time, getting out of that, here's why I'm conflicted. You see, because he proves to me that you can be a good boy and diss everything about the Jews. You can be a good goy if you diss the bankers, the professors, the Zionists, the uh, uh, anything that we generally, movie directors, the media, the guys that run that shit, you can diss all that and still be a good goy. You can do it with one side or the other. The conservative Jews that want to protect their states and have nationalistic interests, and the ones that just want to destroy everything and push for a destructive egalitarian model. You can go after all of that and still be a good boy just by ignoring the elephant in the room. And that's exactly what Occupy does. That's exactly what all these shitty Brahmin groups do that protest against the elite, the man, the system. I had an argument, I didn't have an argument, I had a pseudo debate with one of my high school friends. You might know him as Gaslin, but I've uh, uploaded some of his videos on my channel. Brahmin as fuck. Uh, but that guy. I was saying, who knew this guy's so awesome? I told him he's a dumbass, that his model, this egalitarian model that he's pushing isn't going to work. And, of course, uh, that went nowhere, but I'm sure he liked it because it, it was an intellectual discussion for him relative to what he's getting in college right now. Uh, love that nigga, though. But it is somewhat disturbing that you could do all that and still be a good boy. Because what he pushed for, while ignoring the elephant in the room, the hook-nosed elephant in the room, is that, basically, he wanted an egalitarian model to replace that one. That's why I think his model was a total failure. And the conflict comes in the fact that all the people that are 
insulting this are also usually Jewish apologists. And Cap stood her on that Mises dick instead of on some sterner sexy shit. And Cap stuff is good if you stay away from that Mises bullcrap or just skim through some of the parts. Some of the good parts. You can, you can go as hardcore fast as you want and still take some of their philosophy and come up with good shit. I mean, what is that Mises shit other than with any people bull crap other than utopian socialist Star Trek crap. Hence my blog posts on the NAP. That's all it is. Nerdism and property. But these Jewish apologists are the ones that are going after Russell Brand and he's essentially critiquing the Jewish systems but now everyone's the good goy in this situation. I don't know about you, but that disturbs me because that means that you have to go really express explicit. I think I'm my autism is getting way of how I speak, but you have to go really explicit on how you want to present your views dangerously explicit. You have to risk a lot, because you're not supposed to call it the elephant in the room. And that elephant is just another piece of a bigger puzzle. You got the wasp, and you got all this other shit. It's a big issue. The masons... Uh, you can throw all these names, but that's the first thing you got to focus on. And then the shit above that... It all becomes ancillary. <laughs> Reality sucks right now. I'm not pleased with the results of this speech where uh, Russell Brand, he said some stuff that's true. He sh he's right in that we should probably be a little bit more apolitical. Yes, if you don't take an interest in politics, politics takes an interest in you. But the partisan shit is not working, and he's right. And I could understand why he was practically hopping off his feet and cutting the other interviewer off, and they were cutting each other off. Yes, it wasn't professional, but this is all understandable. But he just wasted his mouth. The halo effect of the fact that he's a hit or miss comedian does not justify him essentially tricking people into becoming better goys. It's so close, but no dice, no fish, that's it. He just didn't cut it, and now people are more deluded than they were before. Either because they're going to become more of more apologists. Or they're going to trick themselves into becoming better goys. This is Mr. Wonka 7. Respect the king, because I know that no one else will. But people watching this. And suck my dick.